let's see another problem on finding out class size okay class limits and true class limits okay the class marks okay so class marks of age of group of citizen are as under so basically you are given the class marks of certain distribution find class size class limits and true class limits so you're given the class marks now what do you mean by a class mark class mark basically is nothing but upper limit plus the lower limit of a particular class divided by two or you can say it's the average of the upper limit and the lower limit right so let's say in this case it is 12 so basically you can say that 12 is equal to upper limit if I were to write it as ul plus lower limit divided by 2 or the sum of upper limit plus the lower limit is equal to 2 into 12 or 24 right now basically whenever the upper limit and the lower limit summed together and divided by 2 you get the class marks now when you notice this particular set of class marks you will notice that the difference between any two consecutive class marks is 6 so you have 12 plus 6 is equal to 18, 18 plus 6 is equal to 24, 24 plus 6 is equal to 30, and so on. Right? So you say that the class marks are uniform. Placed. Right? In such a case, when we find out the class size, What will that be? Class size is basically the difference between the upper limit minus the lower limit normally. Okay? But in cases where the difference between two class marks is constant, class size is equal to difference between two class marks right so one is 18 the other one is 12 or you can take that for any other matter is equal to 6 right so your class size is basically 6 okay now once you get the value of the class size which is equal to 6 and you know the class mark let's say let's take 12 let's say the class mark is equal to 12 and class size is equal to 6 let's call this as A and let's call class size as H okay so when you know the class mark and you know the class size then the upper limit and the lower limit can be found out by using the following formula lower limit is equal to what it is equal to the class mark minus h which is the difference between the class size divided by 2 now how do you know this well let's see it something like this so let's say this is your upper limit sorry this is your lower limit and this is your upper limit of a class Let's call this as X, let's call this as Y. Class mark is nothing but X plus Y divided by 2. Okay? Right? Now if we say that X minus Y is equal to H, the difference between these two is equal to H, right? Then 
the class mark which is the midpoint is how much this is the difference between this midpoint and this is h plus h by 2 and this is also h by 2 because this is the lower limit you assign a minus sign here because this is the upper limit you assign a positive sign here. right considering this analogy lower limit will be equal to 12 minus 6 divided by 2 or 12 minus 3 which is equal to 9 upper limit is equal to class mark plus h divided by 2 or 12 plus 6 divided by 2 12 plus 3 15 so the lower limit of the first class is 9 and the upper limit is 15 right and if you take the class mark for these two that will be equal to 9 plus 15 divided by 2 or 12 which is actually what we have and even the class size which is the difference between these two is 950 okay so now considering this let's find out all other classes so basically you have 9 to 15 as the first class now if 18 is the second class mark so you need to subtract 3 from here that's what we got here 18 minus 3 will give you 15 and 18 plus 3 will give you 21 again 24 is the third class mark which is this 30 36 42 48 54 60 66 72 to get the lower limit you kind of just subtract 3 on this side so you get 21 here and add 3 on the other side 27 subtract 3 from this 27 add 3 to this 33 so you can now write down okay right so by this I got the class limit now you are also told to find out the true class limits now what is a true class limit true class limit arises in case of inclusive method they are not arising in case of exclusive method if you notice this particular class size you have 15 here 15 here so this is the exclusive data that we have hence the limit that we have found here are also going to be the true class limit. 